won the fresh face award uh, you know which about uh, paved a path uh, your career path basically so it is what you know got you into b town so do you believe that ott does the same thing for actors who are otherwise you know they keep trying to get into the industry and you know they have to face a lot of struggle so do you believe that it does the same ott does the same thing for uh, the the struggling actors like what uh, fresh face did for you uh so you know it's a strange thing like people feel like because uh, i won fresh face that's how i landed up the film but actually um it was right after i won fresh face uh it had nothing to do with me landing a film it was just a timing was such that i just uh won the fre- won fresh face and assignment i think around that time only auditions are happening and one of my friends from fresh face he passed on my number to the casting director uh who didn't know me at all and that's how he got in touch with me not caring whatsoever whether i won a pageant or not but uh, to answer your second question ott i feel today um there's so much work that is being churned out and it's a great time like you said for you know all the aspiring actors out there the work earlier how it used to be very limited i feel like that's changing with time and it's a great time for i feel all actors um aspiring actors to enter uh, the film industry because uh, lots of great content is being churned out um great parts are being written yeah <laughs> okay so on the contrary did you have to you know go the extra mile to you know present yourself in front of viewers and audiences because you know you are a relatively newer face in the industry so you know usually hmm. people have to go that extra mile that i am also here did you also have to do that <laughs> um extra mile in terms of uh, trying to hone my craft uh, most definitely like i feel today uh, uh, with so many opportunities there's uh, you know an equal amount of competition everybody is great so um, i feel it's very important to time and again uh, you know um, not let i mean you know stay completely stay motivated and constantly hone your craft um learn unlearn certain things and do all of that so definitely i feel like with every project that i take up i make sure to give it my 200% yeah so after pal pal dil ke paas uh, did ott openly welcome you or were there struggles even there um i think it kind of did welcome me uh, in that sense uh um and i'm so glad that it happened with the empire because it was such a big show um and ma entertainment uh, you know was this one production house that i always wanted to work with they're a great team of people um and uh, to be doing a series in a specific uh, era you know um i really enjoyed that because i also feel like you know um very rarely you get such opportunities to be a part of a periodic drama so i'm very glad with uh, whatever you know empire did for me yeah yeah so uh, you know while you made your debut with pal pal dil ke paas uh, then you switched to ott so is it your attempt at you know uh, exploring both the mediums before finalizing on one um no i mean uh, it wasn't a conscious decision at all uh, i've grown up watching the songs and the dance so i mean i'm all for uh you know your your uh, for a lack of a better word like your commercial cinema um if i may say so but at the same time i feel like uh, also because of the pandemic lots of things have changed the lines between ott and feature films have gotten blurred um and for me i just look at a project as a project and not uh, whether it's a feature film or whether it's ott and if something excites me i take it up regardless <laughs> so talking about your debut film uh, now current film is also coming up bele and it is just coming up one week after dil baker are released so can we say you have turned <laughs> from co-stars to competitors now <laughs> <laughs> well no i mean he can never be my competition for the very simple reason that we we guys are like really close friends and i'll always wish him well mm-hmm. and i'm very excited for this film and uh, i in fact messaged him the other day i was like when is this screening happening when am i supposed to watch your film yeah. so i think it's it's happening next week oh yeah. nice <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, as we spoke about Dil Bekarar, you know it is based on Anuja's book, uh, the those pricey Thakur girls. So did you did you have to read the book uh, to get the character, or did you like directly dive into the script? Oh, uh, we directly went for the script because uh, since it's an adaptation of the novel, there were certain changes in the script. So uh, the director Habib sir, he was very very clear for all of us to only stick to the script and. not read if you ha- if you've read already then great but if you've not then you know not confuse yourself and just 
stick to the script but now i feel like the since the show is out i'm very intrigued to read the book now oh you haven't read it yet no yeah. <laughs> i think i'll definitely read it <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> so what is your perspective about devjani do you relate to her in some sense i relate to her completely i think uh, um she is very progressive very feisty and yet at the same time she's very innocent and naive in certain situations and under certain certain circumstances then the one big commonality that both of us have is like we're big time animal lovers so i don't know if you watched the series but um how i'm like coming out to protect the dog because i feel like you know the guy is attacking the dog so that's very me like i've actually um had fights with people on road who've been mean to animals you know so uh, yeah so those were instances where i was like oh god this is this is me <laughs> yeah yeah okay okay so uh, what has you know what has the reaction to the show actually been like what what kind of responses are you receiving is anyone going out of the out of the box you know to tell you that you know they really connected with the sto- the show or a character there was that kind of response did come to you Yeah. Uh, yes. In fact, it's still you know messages and all of this is uh, uh, every day. I wake up to amazing, beautiful messages written by people from the industry and otherwise. And uh, to be very honest, I didn't expect so much of love for the series and for the Janis character. But uh, everybody seems to love the show, and I'm so grateful for everyone who's seen it and who's loved me and the show. Yeah. Do you believe the reaction that you guys are getting us is something that you uh, that uh, you expected from the audiences? Uh, is that is that what you are receiving? Um. Well. Um. You know, like because it's an adaptation of a novel, and this book was such a famous book, so there were always um um. So there, there's already a certain fan following for the book. So in fact, I felt a little uh pressurized in my own head. Uh, since uh, because i already knew that the Dev, devjani's character is a much loved literary character so to bring that on screen and whether people are going to going to like my interpretation of it was something that i was a little not so sure of but of course i trusted my directors um but um, yeah but i didn't uh, to answer your question it's, it's not like i was expecting the, uh, the kind of love that i am getting right now i feel sure because from the trailer you know people were sort of sending a lot of love since then only so <laughs> Yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your take away from the show? I my biggest take away um was the fact that I learned so many things about the 80s. I got to collaborate with two very talented um directors Habib Faisal and Tarun Mansukhani and it was literally like having two passionate uh you know teachers teaching you the same subject and their uh, ways might be different and distinct but um eventually me as a student you know was learning from both of them and we just had a great um uh, the, all the sisters uh I, if you've seen the show um in reality even today we have a great bond we have a whatsapp group where we chit chat so i feel like my biggest takeaway would be the people in the show um and the veteran actors like raj sir poonam dhillon ma'am and padmini ma'am um it was it, you know just to watch them perform was a great learning in itself and we became like a little family by the end of the show and in between shots we would chit chat we would eat we would have fun so it's been great yeah, yeah. so uh, like you spoke about veteran actors padmini and raji so these are actors who are actually from the 80s and you know they bring their own aura on sets were you like sort of when they came were you like sort of intimidated or you know uh, what what was that environment like when you met them what was it like the whole experience <laughs> So I in fact wasn't intimidated at all. Uh, I don't know if anybody was intimidated because they just made everybody feel so comfortable. And uh, Raj so to be very honest is like I've I've said this in every interview he's like a teddy bear. He's just so sweet. He's the cutest person and um, he would never get irritated even there if there was like chaos happening on set or something not going as per the plan. He would just be like chilling and just cracking a joke and <laughs> laughing about it, and he's just adorable. <laughs> Cute. Okay. So, uh, what's the way ahead for you? Uh, what What do you have next? I have lots of interesting things in the pipeline, Tajpur, and um, with time, uh, everybody will know about it. 